Welcome to St. Mary's College, I'm Bolivac. And Kyle Rowley. And as you can see, it's the 150th year of St. Mary's College of California. And so Kyle and I are about to show you around this beautiful campus. As you can see, it's not as big as most gyms, but what we lack for in size, we make up for in intensity. We've got some of the most intense fans you'll see, so. One of the benefits of going to a smaller school is, is sort of, you know, the kids that you see in class with you every day are there in the sims you know, supporting you. And the fact that the gym's a little bit smaller gives you more of like a home environment. You definitely get that home court feel. I mean, you look up there and you see those banners and all you really see is just years of hard work that our coaching staff and a, a multitude of players have put in. And like you look up there and I just see the, the Sweet 16 and some of those WCC tournament championships that I was fortunate enough to be a part of. It's really something special. You know, we've had a pretty strong international influence at St. Mary's. We have a strong Australian contingent, you know, from our assistant coach, Adam K. Porn, all the way down to, you know, Matthew Delavadova, Mitch Young, Jordan Page, Matt Hodgson, and guys who've come in the past, like Ben Allen. You know, and, you know, those guys bring a sense of brotherhood and community to our program specifically, and, you know, they work hard. Right now, we're walking past Madigan Gym. Uh, a little history about St. Mary's. Before McKeon Pavilion was constructed, Mag Madigan was actually the place where all the games were held. That's where all the intramural sports actually take place. So from basketball to indoor soccer to volleyball, you can find all those things going on in Madigan. Plus it provides a place for uh, the general student body to work out, get some intramurals, but also like Kyle said, some treadmills, some elliptical stuff like that. So it's a nice place. All right, so now we're in Brousseau. It's our science building. It's actually one of the newer buildings on campus. It's a nice example of the good architecture at St. Mary's. It's a beautiful school. One thing that's pretty common to the buildings around St. Mary's, you'll see the red brick roofs and you know the white buildings, it's sort of like old Spanish architecture. It's really cool to look at. So as you can see, St. Mary's is a beautiful campus. It's pretty isolated, but that provides you with a nice little small campus feel. One of the things that sold me on St. Mary's was the intimate class sizes. Here you don't have any classes bigger than 20 or 25 and there's some classes that are 10 to 15 and so you really get a one-on-one -on -one relationship with your teacher which makes them hold you accountable so you hold yourself accountable to doing your work and I, know, I really like that small class feel. Now we're in Oliver Hall, more affectionately known as the CAF or Saga. And uh, in between classes is where you're going to find students, you know, packed, whether they're coming in to get a quick bite to eat or, you know, getting homework and stuff done in between classes. If you had to pinpoint like, the center of the St. Mary's community, it'd probably be this place, Oliver Hall. And one good thing about it is you walk through the CAF and after you've been here for four years, you have all these different classes, meeting all these different people, you honestly feel like you know almost every person at this school. And so it really provides St. Mary's with a unique aspect that a lot of schools don't have. So right now we're standing in front of the statue of St. John Baptist de La Salle and just driving into campus you get a glimpse of the beauty of St. Mary's. One of the more unique things about St. Mary's and more specifically like the La Salian tradition is that in, the focus is more so on your development of, as a person, as a whole, and not just from an ed educational standpoint. Driving into campus the first thing you see is this beautiful baseball field so it really brings out the fact that we uh, we are a campus that focuses on academics, but we also have beautiful athletics uh, facilities as well. And to our right, it's gonna be the home of our new rec center. It's a $30 million project that'll encompass, you know, swimming pools, state-of-the-art machinery as far as ellipticals, bikes, treadmills, you know, everything for our student body. The project should be finished in 2014. Thanks for joining us on our tour of St. Mary's College. We hope we've given you a little bit of insight on what life is like on campus. Go Gales!